Joomla 5? Are they kidding? Ah, they're not kidding, but it's not a big deal. And in this video, we're going to talk about why. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 240 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also build sites, maintain them, migrate them. So if you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term or even to get you out of a spot, send me an email, tim at cybersalt.com. All right, so the topic for today's video is a result of one of my clients asking me about Joomla 5. I just got their site recently migrated to Joomla 4 and they said, whoa, what's, what's gonna happen? Is this gonna break stuff? And so uh, it's a topic I've been uh, thinking about and that's been out there for a while. And we're just going to address that now. So earlier on this year in 2022, I uh, talk about Joomla 5 started to uh, take place. And uh, it really loosened the bowels for a lot of us because uh, we're just uh, starting to get on board with Joomla 4 and making the migrations. And we're thinking like, oh my goodness, why are they doing this? Or even why are they talking about it? Because sometimes that will even just talk about stuff creates panic for people. Uh, and then uh, anyway, so we're going to... Uh, skip the screen here, change to the screen, and I'm going to show you uh, a good resource that you can read up more on this. Don't worry about it. I think everything looks fine. All right. So as we look at the screen here, so this is an article on the Joomla site from July 29th. Of course, the links for these will be in the description of the video below. And uh, they were talking about, hey, Joomla 5, can we do it in one year? And that scared a lot of people. And we're wondering exactly what we're talking about. And there's been a lot of discussion about uh, whether it can be done. Or, and even the question is, hey, can we do it in a year? Should we do it in a year? But anyways, there was that article. But what I want to bring your attention to is one that appeared in uh, September here on the Joomla site. And uh, you can read up on all of this yourself. Uh, I'm going to just go through some of the summary points, make some quick comments, uh, because you know I'm not a sophisticated uh, programmer or uh, developer. And so I'm uh, very much of a user and I need things simple. And a lot of people who watch this channel like things simple and are very much like me. And so uh, here's just the short and skinny for those of you that don't get too deep into it. And the summary here says, We've heard the feedback from the community and made some decisions regarding the Joomla 5 release and the release cycle in general. If you don't read anything else, here's what you need to know. All right, Joomla 5 will not include breaking changes for templates and third-party extensions. This Hooray! is great news. So what's that saying? Uh, whatever Joomla 5 is, it's not going to break your Joomla 4 site. All right, so go ahead, continue to migrate from Joomla 3 to Joomla 4. You don't have to worry about, hey, something's going to break down the road and I'm going to have to do this all with five. Maybe I should just uh, build my site in something else or maybe I should just jump out of a plane and end it all. No, Joomla 5 is not going to break anything in Joomla 4. All right. Now it says, uh, will not remove any code that was marked as deprecated in Joomla 4. I don't fully understand this, which at this point I want to say, uh, some of you watching this, if you know someone smarter who's involved in planning for Joomla 5, I'd love to interview them, have them come on the channel. Uh, but basically, there's, uh, if I understand this right, uh, in Joomla 3, there's some code that's no longer used in Joomla 4, and there was talk about how someday, or, or that shouldn't be used in Joomla 4, and that someday all that Joomla, all that deprecated code would just be dropped, and why not we drop it in Joomla 5? But that's not going to happen, all right? This is really good news. I, I guess it's good news. Uh, like I said, I don't fully understand it. Uh, but uh, it's good news because uh, it's, it's, it's one less thing that's going to be that that people were worried that Joomla 5 would break. All right. So, um, OK, Joomla 5 will have a minimum PHP version of PHP 8.1. That is good. Uh, we need to keep up with the current PHP versions because as the older ones get dropped, you know, 7.4 is going to be end of life uh, very soon here. Uh, we want to keep up with the most secure things. Things are being maintained out in the in the online world. So I think that's really good. Uh, components that work in Joomla 4 sh should also work in Joomla 5 as long, Joomla 5 as, long as they support PHP 8.1. So what that means is that, uh, again, nothing from that works in Joomla 4 is going to break in Joomla 5 unless it doesn't work in PHP 8.1. And we want to keep up with that. Anyways, 
So the only work that is left there, and I say only as a non-developer, the only work that's left there is for developers to make sure their extensions work in PHP 8.1, and they need to do that anyways because PHP is always marching along. All right, here's a really good one too. Joomla 5 will be released in October 2023. Uh, because of the above points, it will not be a big painful update like past releases. Okay, you hear that everybody? Uh, all, all, the, uh, all the little people like me out there, we don't have to worry that when Joomla 5 comes out in just a year's time, that it's going to break or it's going to be a big painful update. It's not going to be that. So that's all right. We can all take a deep breath and relax and that is good. And now look at this other nut, this next note, I like it. Minor releases will remain on a six month schedule, but all releases will be shifted to the months of April and October, starting with the 4.3 release in April, 2023. This is good news because major releases uh, or sorry, minor releases coming out in the middle of August was cramping everyone's styles. Uh, it's not a good time. And then they said, because of, uh, if you read further down, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, middle of August is just a terrible time. I live in the Northern Hemisphere, so that's the end of summer holidays and uh, just does not work. So October and April, oh man, that is much better. It's much nicer. Uh, because as you know, for developers and for users, when you do, we do those minor releases, if there is something, then um, that needs to be taken care of. Better to do it, not when you're on summer holidays, right? So now uh, everybody knows, hey, let's just keep October and April open for maybe a little bit extra work in the Joomla world. Okay, so like it says, if you want to know more about the reasoning and details of the decisions, keep reading. Anyways, the long and short of it is Joomla 5 is not going to break anything. It's not going to hurt Joomla 4. That's what they're saying. I hope that was helpful. If it was, subscribe for more videos like this. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.